Local 10 News investigator Amy Viteri is live with this one for us tonight. Amy. Well, the plans, as you know, are to remove much of the sand making up this popular sandbar and to transport it to a nearby beach that needs replenishing. But now there is a grassroots effort underway to get signatures to stop this from happening. And they say that legal action is also something they're considering. We believe that this sandbar, which is just so spectacular, is a international destination. Now, local organizers are asking public officials to hold off on a plan that would take it away. They're calling it Save the Sandbar, a last ditch effort to stop the planned dredging of the popular haul over sandbar. Waist deep water, people are walking around, there's music playing, there's dogs running about. It's incredibly unique. Welcome to the sandbar, guys. It's a destination for locals and tourists alike. The current plan would remove over 100,000 cubic yards of sand, about three to six feet deep to help replenish erosion from the public beach in Bell Harbor. Nearby resident Dan Rice helped launch the petition drive and argues the county is already purchasing half the sand needed for the project and could buy the rest rather than do away with the popular attraction. There needs to be an economic study on this also. Saving $2.7 million, but at what cost? The Army Corps of Engineers is slated to begin the work this summer. Disappointing news for those who enjoy and depend on this place. Oh, oh no, that will be sad. It's going to shut my business down. Food boat operator Jose Vega says the sandbar helps him make a living. Officials say it won't be gone forever. The sand here will reaccumulate naturally in around five years. Rice is hoping it doesn't come to that. So you're destroying one tourist destination to support another. Now, a couple points from the county. This project, remember, is completely federally funded. A spokesperson for one of the county offices involved in this project points out that taking the sand from this location is the most convenient and cost effective method. Remember, the sand that has accumulated here was mostly washed in through the inlet from neighboring beaches. So this is essentially putting it back where it came from. Also, beach nourishment is a priority given the upcoming hurricane season and, of course, sea level rise. We're live in Northeast Miami-Dade. Amy Pateri, Local 10 News. It is very important. Thank you, Amy.